If I could only keep one figure from each row of figures on this massive wall of WWE action figures, which five would I pick? Let's find out. What is good, everybody? Today, we have a very unique video. I was standing back, man. I was looking at the wall of action figures right here, my big wall of WWE figures. I'm not including the side wall over here today. We're going based off this wall right now. I was looking at it, and I was like, you know what? What if I could only keep one figure from each row? I think there's five rows. There's a top row that's empty because of John Cena. I'm not going to count that top row. We're going one, two, three, four, and five. If I could only pick one figure from each row, which figures would I choose? If I had to get rid of the rest of them, so I only get one figure choice from each row, and then I have to get rid of every other figure on the row itself. This is going to be very challenging today, but I'm going to give you my reasoning on why I would pick these figures and all those different things, man. So let's buckle the hell up. Let's get into it. Let's start off with this top row, and we're going to go all the way through and choose my five figures for each. Now, I'm still in the process of getting this top shelf filled back up, and I figured it was a good day to kind of leave those out because they're not up there anyway, and it's John Cena's anyway, so I'd probably, I'd probably take the John Cena shelf before I took the rest of the wall, so there is that. We're leaving out the top row today, but we are starting out with this section here. It has a bunch of Randy Orton figures. It goes into the Roman Reigns section, and then it goes into the Usos, and then it goes into the Canes, so it's very difficult. Honestly, I should pick two figures probably, and it's going to hurt my feelings to only choose one figure from this entire section. I mean, there's so many damn good ones. I actually, I have some Roman Reigns off here to the side. I'm going to have to put those back in there real quick to choose, but this is going to be very, very challenging for me. But here we go with my first selection from this top row right here. All right, man, I think I've made my choice. Now, one thing that's going to make this video interesting, too, is this could probably change every day, you know, just depending on how I'm feeling. But you have all these Randy Orton's up here. You have all these Roman Reigns. I think I could skip over some of these older Roman Reigns figures. I don't think we need any of those. But my selection, I think I'm going to go down here to some of these promo Roman Reigns. And it's very difficult, man. I think I'm going to pick a Roman figure out of all of these if I had to pick. Even though there's some damn good figures over here. But I guess it's because the rest of the room is filled with other things. So I have to take that in consideration. And I think out of all these figures, I know it's crazy. I think I would go with this promo man bun Roman Reigns right here, man. I just love this custom head sculpt. This was made by my buddy BEW. Very beautiful head sculpt. It's got the custom shirt on there. It's got the jogger pants, the watch. It's got the kicks on there. I think this would be my first selection. I just like this figure a hell of a lot. I find myself picking it up, wanting to do photography and things. So I think I would go with this. There's other Romans in the collection that are around the room and stuff. My dog's barking for whatever reason. But I think this would be my first pick. I think I'm going with this Roman Reigns. And at the end, we'll take a look at every figure I pick, you know, right up next to each other. All right, this might be the most challenging part of the video, but it's probably only going to get tougher. We have the Jeff Hardy section, which have a ton, it has a ton of customs in it. It's got a lot of lore going on in this row. We also have RVD over here with some great figures. We have Kurt Angle over here. We have Stone Cold Steve Austin, and mind you, some of these figures, man, some of these are my favorite figures that Mattel's ever made, so this is going to be a very challenging thing. And then after Stone Cold Steve Austin, it gets into the Shawn Michaels. Now, at the end of the video, I want you to tell me which figures you would have selected, which figures am I passing up on. I'm trying my best to slow down and make sure that I see every single figure to make sure I'm picking the right ones and the ones that I want. So we're just going to have to be selective, and honestly, it pains me. God in heaven, this is very challenging because I really love the new Monday Night Wars Austin. I really do. I think it's fantastic. If there was an Austin over here that had the perfect formula, I'd probably choose that one. I think they make his ultimate too skinny. So I think, I, I want to say that it's probably going to be a Jeff Hardy of some kind because there's so many damn good ones. Oh man, this is difficult. This is diff definitely difficult. And there's not to mention, dude, there, the damn Chase unreleased, you know, Elite 91 RVD is over here. So... That is also another choice that you have to consider. So I am, uh, I'm on the struggle bus with this one. And of all the damn good figures up here in this second row, I think I've made my choice. And my choice is going to be the Willow Jeff Hardy custom right here, man. It's just too good to pass up. And funny enough, another custom figure made by BW Animations. Another fantastic piece here. I did put some different lower legs on it. He did make, I mean, he made the head sculpt and then he painted on the tattoo here on the arm, on the uh, bicep right there. And this figure is just too good to pass up. Can't can't leave this one out, man. I just think it looks too damn good. So we're going to be grabbing this Willow Jeff Hardy from row number two. 
I thought row number two was going to be hard, man. We're going into row number three. And on row number three, we have one of my favorite wrestlers in Finn Balor. We have all of these amazing customs made by different people all over the place right here. We have some Kenny Omegas that I love. You guys know I love some of these Supreme Kenny Omega figures. We have CM Punk right here, man. Have to get rid of some CM Punks. Now, again, there are other figures around the collection in the room that I can, you know, I can keep those. But... That would be meaning getting rid of some of these Chris Jericho's as well. Some of these customs. I love this custom Chris Jericho here. I have some custom Chris Jericho's here that I that I hold dearly. The hat, we have some custom CM Punks and fix-ups in here. There are a lot of great figures right here, and I'm going to have to make a bunch of cuts. Hell's Gate Kenny Omega, man. Am I going to have to just live with the memory forever by getting rid of him here in this scenario? I don't think I could get rid of every single Finn Balor, though. So this one is going to be such a challenge, and I have no idea what the hell I'm going to do. You're going to have to give me a moment. I'm going to have to breathe on this one and think it over. All right, guys, I think I made my decision here for row number three. And at the end of the day, it was very challenging, but I think I went with the ultimate edition Finn Balor. Now, the only reason I went with the Ultimate Edition is I do get the accessories and stuff. So I have the interchangeable hands and all those different things for this figure. I know it's pretty outdated, but it's such a beast of a figure, and I love it so much. I have some of these customs, but they're kind of outdated and such, even though they are very badassery. You know, they look good. I love a lot of these Kenny Omega figures. My dog's still going crazy in the background. I know I really love the Supreme Edition over here. A few of these, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. You have the Walmart exclusive, but I think... The Ultimate Edition Finn Balor, I gotta have a Finn Balor in the collection, right? And I, I know you could say the same thing about Kenny and stuff, but I don't think there's another Demon Finn Balor anywhere else in my room. This is the only ones on display right here, so I think I'm gonna take the Demon Finn Balor. So we go down from the Finns, and now we are venturing into the Seth Rollins section slash Cody Rhodes slash Brock Lesnar's, and there are so many god dang good figures on this on this section right here. I mean, you have the Elite 45 Rollins. You have great customs such as Punisher Seth and Buzz Lightyear Seth Rollins that I know a lot of people enjoy. You have the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins right here. We have a ton of Cody Rhodes figures. Not to mention you have the Torn Pet Cody. You have the Ultimate Edition Cody here. We have the Mattel Creations Exclusive. A lot of different figures over here that are fantastic. You have the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar that I love so much. So there are definitely some killer options over here for this section. I mean, there are a lot of great figures. I'm going to have to think this one over, especially when you get into different customs, Seth Rollins, fix-ups, things like that. So now it is time to make my decision. Who the hell am I picking from row number four? Now neighbor's dogs are barking in the background. I don't know if you can hear them, but I think I've made my decision on this shelf right here. And it kind of makes it hard again because I do know that I have other spots. Like over here, I do have some different Cody Rhodes. I have the Torn Pack Cody right there. And I have some different figures going on right here. So that kind of influences the decision a little bit. I know I have an extra Brock Lesnar Ultimate here. If I didn't have an extra Brock or Ultimate Edition Brock of this figure across the room, I probably would select that figure. But I think I'm going to go with the Buzz Lightyear Seth Rollins. And the only reason I'm doing that is because this one holds dear to my heart. I made this myself. It does have a custom head sculpt. But we do have the Seth Rollins Buzz Lightyear figure right here which was kind of a, you know, it was a fantasy attire that I came up with on my own and, made, you know, had the decals made, painted it up and all those things. And not to mention, wore this in the, at a Fed pay-per-view. So we do have the Seth Rollins Buzz Lightyear figure. I feel like that's just, that's just the way to go. You know what I mean? I feel like, you know, if you have, you have figures that have sentimental value and then you have just normal figures that are released every day. And I think that's what makes certain figures in the collection more valuable to you personally. It kind of makes it unique. So we do have the Buzz Lightyear Seth Rollins. And now we move down into the last row. And in this last row, makes it very difficult. I mean, you have Kevin Owens over here. You have Sami Zayn. You have Johnny Gargano. You have a suited Johnny Gargano over here. Then we get over here. We have some Adam Coles. Love Adam Cole. We have the Rock section over here. And then last but not least, we kind of finish things off with a funny one. We have the Hurricane. So the Hurricane randomly over here. It's because I have so many, and there's really nowhere else to put these guys. So we did put them here. We have a final boss kind of rock without the tattoo. We know we're getting that later on. So a lot of great rock figures right here. And that really makes it difficult because there are so many rocks right here that I love. But I do love a, a dead gum Adam Cole. You know, I do like a good Adam Cole figure. There are some good ones over here. You have the Hell's Gate Johnny Gargano here in the sort of, he's dressed up like the championship version. You have Kevin Owens over here from Hell's Gate in the Kevin F. and Owens shirt, which could also be a thing, which uh, that's a custom figure also. So 
This makes it difficult. You even have Royal Rumble Kevin Owens here in the white shirt. So, yeah, I mean, hell, you even have Stone Cold Steve Austin Mockery custom Kevin Owens here in the jorts and everything. So, this one's going to be a little difficult, but I'm going to give it a little time, and then I'll update you with my decision. Now, this wasn't an easy decision by far, but you guys know that I'm kind of a sentimental guy when it comes to the figures. We have some really good rocks over here. I think even that Target Exclusive Legends figures over here. You have some really good rocks. Again, Adam Cole, you have the Chase variant in the War Games gear that we waited on forever. But I think at the end of the day, I really do love the, the Hell's Gate Iron Man champion, Iron Man, you know, style championship Johnny Gargano figure. But I think at the end of the day, I think I'm going to go with the Hell's Gate Kevin Owens. I just like the shirt design. I actually like this gear a lot, too. So you have the shirt that says Kevin F. and Owens. He's a bloody mess. You have the KO on the shorts that are custom made. And this was made by me. I made this custom myself. So that kind of gives it a little bit of lore and things like that. He's even bloody on the back of his arms and stuff. So this is a very fun figure. And so you can tell that... You know, it's just when you compare, you know, things like this that have some sort of, you know, special value to them to the rest of the collection, you know, I value it more than some brand new Survivor Series Elite or something of that nature. But I'm sure there may be figures like that in your own collection that you can kind of relate that to. But let's line up all five figures that I selected and then let's do like a little overview of everything. So here are our five figures from each row. Again, excluding the top row with the John Cena's. We have our promo gear, Roman Reigns. We have our Willow, Jeff Hardy, Ultimate Edition, Finn Balor, Buzz Lightyear, Rollins, and Kevin Owens. Funny enough, five of my favorite guys, really. You know, I've, I've really, you know, picked, picked, picked a lot of guys that I really enjoy. Obviously, I'm a big Randy Orton guy. There's a lot of guys that I really enjoy throughout time. And, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Kurt Angle, even John Cena again, who was excluded, so you can't really count him, but... At the end of the day, I, I like my five picks right here. These are either figures that would be really hard to replicate or you can't really replace. And so that's kind of what it comes down to. The Finn Balor pick, kind of a sleeper pick. You know, I know it's outdated, but if they would just give us a new one, probably would have picked a new F Demon Finn Balor. But I love that character so much. Finn's one of my favorites, so that is the reason we went with that. But I like my five picks right here. I'm sure that everybody will let me know what I skipped out on. I mean, you have a ton of figures over here that we skipped out on that could have been selected. Tons of Jeff Hardys that were skipped over, even though we did probably pick the best one. You have a lot of cool customs here in Punisher, Jeff Hardy. You have that unreleased RVD, Ultimate RVD. You have some good Kurt Angles. Uh, plenty of Stone Cold Steve Austin's, including the Monday Night Wars one that I really like. God, there's that Ultimate Edition Sean over here that I really like. I love the, you know, the fan takeover, but I love this custom sort of 2004-ish, 2003-ish Shawn Michaels Ultimate Edition that we made on surgery. Really like that figure. That kind of pained me to skip over. You have some great Shawns here in long pants. Some custom Chris Jericho's over here that we left out. This 05 version here. You have the Defining Moments Chris Jericho. That's one of my favorite figures of all time from Mattel. That's a great piece that we skipped over. Other customs like that. That Ultimate Edition Brock, which is one of my, probably my favorite Ultimate Edition to date. Even the new released Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes that I really like. And the Elite 99 Brock I really like a lot as well. And you have all of these different Cody's that would have been amazing. Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins, Punisher Seth Rollins. You have the SummerSlam Seth. And then not to even mention that you have the Elite 45 down here, which kind of came down to it being a little outdated, right? It's a little outdated, so I could I could kind of make an excuse for it. You even have my fix-up upgrade greatest hits Seth Rollins made for the cash-in. That was kind of my own version of a greatest hits using an updated formula and custom belt. Skipped over that one as well. But there were plenty of bangers on the wall that I had to skip over, man. I mean, that guy, look at the look at the custom details on some of these Finn Balors. I had to skip over them, man, but I would like to know down below what you maybe would have picked or what five figures from your collection you would select if you had to uh, get rid of it. But honestly, for the video, it was supposed to be about the wall itself. If I could only pick five figures from this entire wall and only p picking one figure from each row, which ones would I select, man? But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know again what your picks would have been. What do you think of my picks? Drag my picks if you didn't like them. Let me know if you enjoyed the picks, what you would have selected, all those different things, man. But a huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. I appreciate you fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always. But I think I'm getting the hell out. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.